Magandang umaga! How have you been lately? There's a lot of things na pwede nating ipagpasalamat. Isa na doon ang bawat umaga na gumigising tayo. God gave us another chance to live a new page of our story. Maging grateful tayo because we are so, so blessed to be alive, to breathe, to enjoy life, and to experience His divine love. Today, I will share with you a day in my life during this quarantine period. Starting my morning routine with a hot shower, allowing my mind and body to fully connect with the water. My self-affirmations in the mirror. I am wonderful. I am blessed. I am boundless. All is well. Every 9 o'clock is a morning video conference with our team while enjoying my hot coffee in our mini garden. Now, we are going out for our grocery time bago pa maabutan ng long queue sa supermarket. We've been enjoying our time alone for almost a month now and going out gives us mixed emotions like excitement and fear. But we believe that this COVID-19 pandemic is teaching us to be more patient, more mentally resilient, to learn how to channel the vibration of love instead of fear. Grocery time is over! Oras na para bumalik sa bahay. Gusto ko sanang mag-drive, pero siya na lang daw. Miss niya na kasi. We're here! Finally! We're home! Before we replenish our grocery and put things in order, siguraduhin natin that we sanitize them one by one. For my disinfectant spray, I mix Zondrox and water. No need to use alcohol. Really paranoid when it comes to germs and bacteria. I do suggest na gawin nyo rin to for your safety. This time, it's Jonathan's turn to prepare our lunch and he is cooking grilled Norwegian salmon with potato marbles. I don't know why he's frying it. It's supposed to be grilled. But it looks yummy. He's actually good in cooking. Madalas nag invento lang siya ng recipe niya. Pero it always turned out surprisingly delicious. Chef Atan! <laughs> o, oh, diba? Siya na yung nag-drive for our grocery time. He prepared the lunch. And he's also making up our table. I'm going to light up the candle para may unting romantic ambience. Craving. It's mouth watering. Okay, I'm gonna do the first bite. Mmm, yummy. Well satisfied. After we had lunch, itutuloy ko na yung pagre-replenish ng food supplies namin. There are a lot of biscuits, cookies, pancakes, uh, some noodles, cup noodles, chips, some canned 
secrets These are our foods that we stock for emergency like for example we are not allowed to go out and wala na kami ng mga vegetables, meat, fish like that. Here I have some lemongrass I got from the supermarket for only 13 pesos. I decided to bring it home and grow it in my mini garden. I love collecting and growing greens outside our veranda. It's very relaxing and stress relieving talaga. Wife's duty, washing the dishes. But Jonathan would always volunteer to do this dahil ako yung nagluluto. So, siya naman yung maguhugas. He enjoys it and he do it with love. Don't forget to spray disinfectant on your kitchen walls dahil siya ang nagtatalsikin yung mga cooking oil whenever you're cooking or frying something. O, ba? Akala mo talagang mabilis yung ginagawa ako dito pero tatlong oras na ako naglilinis. Well, ganun talaga pag nai-enjoy mo, hindi mo na mamalayan yung bilis ng oras. Siyempre, nalilipang ka, di ba? Kailangan kong i-make sure na malinis siya at walang parasite. Dahil cockroach killing gels only last for maximum 3 months. And knowing that we still have another month left on getting locked down, uh, hindi pa natin alam kung kailan makakapag-pest ko. So, kailangan talaga i-double check from time to time. In my opinion, cleaning is a way for me to relieve stress. Dahil, aside sa nagde-declutter ako and getting rid of all the dirts around the house, nakakapag-self-talk din ako while cleaning. And, napapansin ko na ang lalim-lalim lagi ng iniisip ko whenever I clean and I enjoy it. I like making things in order. Sabi nga ni Marie Kondo, I love mess. It's like I am solving a puzzle and it makes me think deeper. Here I am using 2 tablespoons of butter, 2 teaspoons of muscovado sugar, and 1 teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Kailangan lang natin siyang i-mix continuously until ma-achieve na natin yung consistency of what a sandwich spread should look like. Para sa 4 servings, I got 2 cups of this pancake mix. And then, let's pour in one cup of whole fat milk. I-mix lang natin siya ng tuloy-tuloy and let's make sure na walang maiiwan na 
buo-buong flour. So, ito na yung pancake natin. Hindi ko na patatagalin. You are going to cook it 4 minutes sideways. While it's hot, I'm gonna coat it with my cinnamon danish spread. I love cinnamon. Ang bango-bango niya. And this is how Jonathan makes his pancake. Evaporated milk on top with a little bit of sugar. Magkaiba talaga kami. Having our light meal dinner while watching movie. Hi! The night is almost over, but the next coming days were so exciting. Kahit naka-lockdown tayo sa mga bahay natin, we can sleep safely. You have always been there for us, guiding us, protecting us. Thank you, Lord. Your blessings into our lives are boundless. We have our families. We are home. And you gave us purpose. Purpose to make this life more meaningful, to inspire others. Ang sabi nga ng isang 8-year-old, smart and wise little girl, Scarlett Creamer, Sometimes, God will not change the situation. He will change you instead. There are so many things we can choose to be grateful for. It's our choice. Thank you for joining me on this day and for enjoying my stories. Have a wonderful night. Good night.